Things just got perfect. The following contest is a gauntlet match. And from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 257 pounds, Mr. Perfect. A flawless technician, everything executed in the ring in textbook style. Byron, I believe the word you are looking for is not flawless, it's not textbook, it's perfect. One of the all-time greats. Cole, some people spend their entire lives striving for greatness. Mr. Perfect just obtained greatness naturally. He's here! And from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, the Batine Dream. What an entrance. Intoxicating, mesmerizing. Guys, here is a man who is going to be a true superstar in our business. He has it all, in-ring skill. He's got charisma. And he's got great hair. I fully expect Velveteen to be bald next time I see him after hearing you say that, Saxton. Good point, Corey. Velveteen wants nothing to do with the likes of you. I'm just saying. D-R-E-A-M. The real deal. This kid's got it all. The WWE Universe intoxicated by the dream. How can you not be? So charismatic. I'm not going to lie. It's hard for me to take my eyes off him. It's dream time. What's he doing now? Byron, anything he wants. He's the Velveteen Dream. Uh, Corey, I think he wants you to go talk to him. on that and here's the lockup look at these two jockeying for position nailed it Ooh. Hooked up. Belly a back suplex. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. It's Mark. Atomic oh, drop. You 
got to believe this one's over. Oh, looks like he's starting to falter. I don't think this is how he envisioned oh, this match going here tonight. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. Guys, oh. I wasn't anticipating this type of performance from him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Mr. Perfect is getting a little carried away right here, but it's hard to blame him. What a stomp! Good grief! And Mr. Perfect evades that one! Ooh, what impact! Yeah, but we'll see if it'll last. The elbow! Drop down. Drop kick with precision. Snap mare. Boom. Perfectly executed. That should do it. This is Mr. Perfect's chance. Mr. Perfect, he's looking for it, Corey. This isn't just great. It's perfect. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Digging deep for a kick out. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Oh, uh, going to the top. High risk. Look at this. And Mr. Perfect evades that one. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, Byron, at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Harsh impact. To elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent, Cassius Ono. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry, you just sound like an amateur commentator. What a strike! My incredible agility! Corey, I agree with Byron's statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the filled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is what you do in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen Dream can do pretty much anything. He's teetering on the edge here. Mr. Perfect, he's looking for it, Corey. This isn't just great. It's perfect. Here's his moment, Michael. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't the cover. And this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, Mr. Perfect. A very decisive victory here tonight. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. What an incredible journey it has been to get to this WrestleMania moment. Absolutely amazing.
from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Bobby Roode. Things just became absolutely glorious. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Not from you, Byron. How many times do we have to go through this? I've been practicing all week. You haven't gotten any better. There is only one, Bobby Roode. And there's the bell, and here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. So much can go wrong in a match like this, guys, which is why it's considered one of the most dangerous in all of WWE. technique. Really working over the body. This might be it. Oh, my. Trouble in paradise. Mr. Perfect feeling some pressure here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. You see more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. to avoid damage. Nice. Double underhook suplex. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no count outs, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. Drop down. Oh, nasty impact. Boom, what impact. Harsh impact. Mr. Perfect evades that one. He's making a statement here with this attack. Corey, it's truly amazing to me how Bobby Roode has the WWE Universe eating out of his hands. With a simple motion, he can get every single person in the... Spine Buster! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Oh, man, can Mr. Perfect recover from this? Oh, if I could bring up Glorious and Hallelujah again real quick. I spoke to Bobby Roode the other day, and he said, I'm the only guy here allowed to say his catchphrases. 
Sorry, gentlemen. Wait, wait, are you serious? Yes. No, no you can't be serious. I'm dead serious, No, Bob. no, no, I don't believe it. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. When Mr. Perfect is feeling it like this, nobody has a chance. Oh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, what impact. Guy's not sure how much more Bobby Roode can take. We're finding out. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. Bobby Roode can't be feeling glorious right now. Oh, Bobby always feels glorious, but he's in trouble, Byron. Beautiful rolling neck snap. Totally perfect. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Yeah, but we'll see if it'll work. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Boom! Perfectly executed. This one is over. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Come on, get up that ladder, let's go! You can do it! God, here he goes. And Mr. Perfect evades that one. Mr. Perfect. Beautiful technique. Here we go with Mr. Perfect. All right, it doesn't get much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder and win this match. Even this superstar can do that. Mr. Perfect did it! Here is your winner, Mr. Perfect! Strategy fell into place with that victory. Bobby Roode lost? What was I getting all those hallelujahs for? Practice? We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando. Here comes the model. And from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick, the model, Martel. That's it. The fact of the matter is this. You can spend countless hours in the gym. You can wear designer clothes, but you will never, ever be a model like Rick Martel.
I don't think I've ever seen someone who admires himself as much as the model Rick Martel does. Look at the jawline, Byron Saxton. You would admire yourself if you looked anywhere near as good as Rick Martel. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Oh, nasty impact. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it, this is all about skill, determination, and power. Drop down. He might have it. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Mike. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. He's on the defensive here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's oh, to be man. expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. I know it's Oof. early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Yeah, but we'll see if it'll last. You've got to believe this one's over. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He came into this match looking for a fight. And it looks like he found one. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling. Mr. Perfect's looking to end it. Is he done? Lightning, he forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Beautiful rolling neck snap. Totally perfect. That has got to be it. That might be the end of Rick Martel tonight. Drop kick. Hit the target. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Oh, perfect kick. When Mr. Perfect is feeling it like this, oh, nobody has a chance. Oh, he dodges out of the way. One of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. Drop down. Nice. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. And now that one's countered. Wow, that was impressive, Michael. No, he reverses it. I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today, which is not too far from us here in Orlando. It's such an amazing state-of-the-art facility. Cover here. One. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. And there's his speed paying off. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Nightmare. Boom! Perfectly executed. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. That one was even more impressive than the first time we saw it. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. 
Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? This might be it. Oh, my. Looks like Mr. Perfect starting to fade. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to. And he goes for the pin. And a kick out. Not even close on that. Not yet. Oh, he's able to reverse it. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. It's perfect. That should do it. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. And he manages to get the shoulder up. Unbelievable. He has him right where he wants him. Mr. Perfect, he's looking for it, Corey. This isn't just great. It's perfect. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Mr. Perfect just changed the momentum of this. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, Mr. Perfect. And there's your winner. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. That's one of those personal WrestleMania moments and memories that will last a lifetime. I'm so glad we all got to be a part of it. And residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. Go ahead, Corey, tell us all. The Miz. The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B Show to V Show. A star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything the Miz hasn't done? Did the Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? That's right. A Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have a Mizzy. Singles action is underway, Jeez. and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. And guys, you can almost literally feel the electricity in the air for this Hell in a Cell match. What a clothesline! Ouch!
Guys, we oftentimes talk about the dangers of competing inside Hell in a Cell. But let's not forget these competitors aren't the only ones in there. It could be just as dangerous for the official as well. Drop down. Back body drop. Oh, you see the height on that? I agree with Michael's point on the dangers of this match. I mean, the environment is so brutal for all involved. Just go back to look at referee Tim White after he officiated one of those matches. Yeah, he was never the same after that. In fact, White said Hell in a Cell ruined his life. Oh, what an uppercut. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. Of course, guys, we all remember the 1998 battle between Mankind and Undertaker. And all these years later, fans still refer to it as one of the greatest Hell in a Cell matches of all time. Oh. Right across, double axe handle, brutal. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Not the fall that hurts, it's the sudden stop at the end. As Michael was saying, I will never forget the Mankind Undertaker match. Just the sight of Mankind flying through the air is something that will be ingrained in my memory forever. And while Mankind's the story of that match, I think a lot of people forget it was actually Undertaker. Who this could be it. Cover. Digging deep for a kick out. So resourceful. Oh boy, he is rolling. going through the arena. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside of Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ouch. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. just echoed throughout this entire arena. True testament to Gret. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Oh, what a kick! What a drop kick right to the back. Exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That's how you use your agility to your advantage, Cole. It's perfect. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. This is Mr. P the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, Mr. Now that's an eye-opening victory. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one. -on I smell money, guys! And from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 200.
160 pounds, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Everything about DiBiase is high class, the best of the best. DiBiase sweats champagne. Sweat champagne? That's disgusting. Hey, at least if you lose to the Million Dollar Man, you get a $100 bill stuck down your throat. That's even worse. Bigger payday than you ever received, Saxton. A Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, he's got so much money, he can, he can probably buy this ring, probably buy the whole building. Think he'll give me a loan? You still owe me 20 bucks, Saxton. This guy just oozes cash. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, <laughs> lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Drop down, boom, what impact! Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Kick to the... What a shot. What a stomp. Good grief. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Million Dollar Man starting to stammer some. Ouch. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Feeling it like this, nobody has a chance. Whoa, Ted DiBiase dodged that one. Nailed it. Oh, my clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Don't you dare get up, man. Slam down hard. This match beginning to take its toll on the million dollar man. Oh. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. Swinging neckbreaker textbook. executed but he's got to capitalize now mr perfect is rolling now it's perfect looks like the million dollar man's in the red guys the situation yes unreal performance here is your winner And Mr. Perfect, very impressive, guys. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. We've got an animated crowd here.
Did you ever think you'd see the day that Ric Flair was in WWE? It is a surreal event. And it's happening right before her very eyes. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rick. I can't believe what it must be like to, to live the lifestyle of Ric Flair. We can only imagine that's as good as it's going to get. But we do have the pleasure of watching the man himself walk that aisle, do what he does best, and maybe if you're lucky, we'll get an invite to the after party at the... Both superstars come into this matchup with a lot to prove. The Nature Boy may be flashy with his robes and struts, but he's also all business in that ring. I can point to at least 16 times he's proven that. Tear your hamstring. You gotta believe this one's over. Momentum Ooh. not on the Nature Boy's side. He's gonna want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Hey, wow. you're gonna absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. Man. But that can obviously all change here. Oh, nasty impact. Boom! Oh, a knee right to the face! Looks like Ric Flair is fading here. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. His outlook is not looking good right now, guys. And I think it's safe to say his chances of being the last man standing tonight are slipping away with each shot he absorbs. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's not the case, though. And this match is going to continue. Ric Flair grew up outside Minneapolis, Minnesota, and idolized the stars of Vern Gagne's AWA. He'd watch matches with legendary grapplers like The Crusher, Dick the Bruiser, Mad Dog Vashon, and Baron Von Raschke. What no one knew except Flair himself was that all he wanted to do was lace up the boots and get inside the ring. Oh boy, he is rolling. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Ric Flair made it through Vern Gagne's grueling training camp. Training session started with 500 free squats, 200 sit-ups, 200 push-ups, and a two-mile run through Ganya's cornfield in the frigid Minnesota winter. Ric Flair survived a horrific plane crash in 1975 that resulted in a broken back in three places. Doctors feared he'd never walk again. Flair returned to the ring in under a year, and when he did, he returned as the nature. Guys, one of my favorite matches from the In Your House era would have to be December 1996 Armageddon Rules match between The Executioner and The Undertaker, which many say was a precursor to today's last man standing match. As Byron was saying, Armageddon Rules was undoubtedly a precursor to today's last man standing match. The difference then, however, was the referee began his 10 count only after a superstar pinned his opponent for the three count. And on that night, as Vince McMahon said on commentary, the executioner was executed by The Undertaker. Ooh-wee. The ref wasn't finished.
You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. An example that immediately comes to mind would be Shane McMahon's actions in Unforgiven in 2003. Too quick for him there. To elaborate more than that Unforgiven 2003 match Corey was talking about, that night we saw Shane leap off the top rope of the Unforgiven set down toward his opponent, Kane. And unfortunately for Shane, however, Kane moved at the last moment, and it was all academic from there. The referee could have counted to 100. Shane was not getting up. We will go on. He gets it with a reversal. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Down to the floor. Looking for the finish. He's close to being done here. On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. Oof. He wants no part of the outside. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Mr. Perfect is getting a little carried away right here, but it's hard to blame him. He's almost got him. Oh. The referee is watching this one very closely. At any moment, he'll have to call this match if one of these combatants can't get up. Harsh impact. Mr. Perfect is in position. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Ooh, Mr. Perfect, he's looking for it, Corey. This isn't just great. It's perfect. The Nature Boy is in a tough spot here. No reason for that. Given the amazing shape these competitors are in, I'm not sure it's even possible to keep one of them down for the 10 count. This match ain't over yet. Mr. Perfect, he's looking for it, Corey. This isn't just great, it's perfect. The Nature Boy is in a tough spot here. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look out! Oh, an elbow drop. Come on, let the ref do his job. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. And the beat goes on. Scary drop. He's playing with him now. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Yeah, but we'll see if it'll last. Perfect. The Nature Boy is in a tough spot here. Mr. Perfect just changed the momentum of this match. And Mr.
Mr. Perfect evades that one. Byron Calf pressures in. Cinched in. Nowhere to go. Elbow drop. An elbow drop with authority. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. is watching this one very closely. At any moment, he'll have to call this match if one of these combatants can't get up. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE history. Given the amazing shape these competitors are in, I'm not sure it's even possible to keep one of them down for the 10 count. Mr. Perfect, he's looking for it, Corey. This isn't just great. It's perfect. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Uh-oh. Here we go. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. I don't believe it. The match is over. Here is your winner, Mr. There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. And what an incredible journey it has been to get to this WrestleMania moment. Absolutely amazing.